Hello family and welcome back to the channel Deb Chanel's 40th World Hosting with the Family Affair Okay I'm just saying y'all We're going to be talking about a story From Celebrity Insider Dylan Fisher wrote it up for us He titled it Candy Burris and Todd Tucker Brought up daughter Riley's luxury car In this video And they are slammed for it it okay and i'm like i'm like rightly so rightly so my sidebar i tell you these celebrities y'all think got it going on they show y'all this luxurious lifestyle they live and they give you the impression or the assumption that they bought and paid for this stuff they got deeds to the house or houses they got titles to the cars that they don't set out and purchase for their loved ones and then several years down the road they either confess or break out news that oh we don't own those cars we're leasing those cars and if anybody has leased a car before or know about leasing hell when you lease that car you got to bring that car just practically how you roll off the lot with it they want you to bring it back in that type of mint condition and if you don't oh you got this fee this penalty this fee this penalty and you're gonna wish you ain't never set foot on trying to lease a car and whether you uh buy a car right out like they said they had bought for riley but now we're finding out they leased the car for riley next we ain't gonna even see her having that car and i'm like why these celebrities just don't buy them a nice honda a nice toyota camry you know fix it all up and just call it a day and let them on their own merit get those kind of cars that they say they want them to have why they got to go buy the mercedes the bentley's the porsches you know and i'm like damn they can't afford the shit themselves let alone the maintenance on it but can broke bread told us <laughs> <laughs> that baby i just leased that car for riley i gooped y'all okay so i'm like you got to watch these reality stars to so stop trying to be like them because they ain't going out there once you drive off that lot that car depreciates real quick in a hurry some thousands of dollars it's not new no more okay it's not new no more once it hits them streets okay that you don't sign it off or a uh, um, loan company don't took up your loan child please the wear and tear and everything it goes through uh, uh and i guess she don't own that uh car uh todd brought her i think she was driving a, a, a truck bentley a bentley truck i guess he leased that too with her money Shy. But anyway, let's get on into the article. Okay. It says, Candy Burris is using her time while taking part in a self-quarantine to help others. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star and escape singer teamed up with her husband, Todd Tucker, and they filmed an interesting video where they gave out helpful financial tips. The couple said that during the crisis caused by the coronavirus pandemic, people should try to take advantage of banks that are offering a grace period and an extension on car, mortgage, and student loans. My thing is my sidebar, because I know quite a few things about that too. Don't do that shit. Only time you need to do that shit as far as uh, seeing what kind of programs they have out there. If you're having a hard time trying to make it uh in this coronavirus type situation where a lot of people are getting laid off or they're losing their jobs for whatever the reason may be or if we did have the coronavirus and you were falling on hard times yes there are definitely different programs you can go and contact your financial institution whether it comes for uh or comes to the matter of refinancing uh for a better loan you could do that just you know without anything going on if your credit is real good and you were at a 16 point some interest rate and your credit score is like 800 now shit you should be doing that anyway without harsh times coming to play get you an interest loan get it all the way down to four percent if you can you'll be hitting gold in <laughs> but uh, and you can always negotiate a different uh, or a better interest rate, even if you had your car for three years, four years, and you plan on um, 
what you call it keeping it and it's a fairly good decent quality car that the um the resale value is high on it honey you can shoot three years of having a car go trade that shit back in and get you something else ride new <laughs> Or you could go and negotiate a better interest rate so you could be paying lesser than what you know you probably were paying prior to you having a uh, good credit. But I'm telling you, don't let if, if you got a job, continue to pay your bills, okay? Don't say, Oh, I might need this money, this, that, and the third. Honey, we're gonna always need money, always. It's, it's, it's gonna be uh. You're never going to not need money because you're going to always have emergencies come up that ain't got nothing to do with the world. If you own a house or you're trying to own a house, meaning you have a mortgage that you're paying to a bank or a loan institution and you pay it off uh, within a 15 to 30 year turnaround, they send you the deed to the house. It's yours. You're going to have to have upkeep of that house. You see what I'm saying? You're going to something's gonna always need to be repaired you might want to do some remodeling this that and the third it's just always gonna be something because i'm telling you you don't own anything if you really think about it the purchases of a home cars or whatnot you don't own it you're just really leasing it i don't care what nobody tell you because at the end of the day you don't keep certain things like insurance or um, some type of protection or whatever you don't pay the uh taxes on your house that you definitely have secured by paying it off they come take that shit back from you okay just is what it is if you go through a bad divorce y'all gotta split that shit down the middle you know whatever and through those circumstances you're still losing out regardless but i just said this to say that damn i really thought candy had bought uh riley that porsche but as we can see as you go along within the article or you go over to her speak on it channel um she talks about her and todd about financing and you know uh taking good taking advantage of these different programs that are out here uh that might help you but then uh, that, that money don't go nowhere it just goes on the end of the loan it's just still recycling debt so don't let can of fool y'all now one thing is right if you have a great uh if you have good uh credit going on then yes finance for a lower interest rate hell you can do that every year if you want to that's just free advice she should be telling you that but man don't hold on to your money if you got a job you still employed pay your bills just like nothing was going on outside i'm just saying with me being real to you don't hold no money in your pocket uh -uh, don't do that because there's gonna be some shit later on about you need to either pay this money all up front right now or lose it or your interest rate gonna be it's just a whole lot just pay your bills if you can't afford to continue to pay your bills as if nothing was happening out there continue to do status quo all right that's all i really got to say about it but I'm like, ooh, that's all Cannibal doing around here, going flossing and stuff and ain't owning shit. Girl, please. But anyway, it just is what it is. Going back to the article, it says, uh, the couple said that during the crisis caused by the coronavirus pandemic, people should try to take advantage of the banks that are offering a grace period and extension on car, mortgage, and student loans. Ken spoke about pushing back Riley's car payments, a Porsche making which cost between $48,000 and $70,000. And one critic attacked her by saying, how do you have a car? No, mortgage. I don't understand. You guys that make millions and millions of dollars a year and don't own shit. Ordinary people like myself are debt free because I don't buy what I can't afford to pay for. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I ain't gonna lie. I have bought some shit that I, you know, <laughs> it was very questionable whether I was gonna pay for it or not. But I end up paying for it and it just is what it is. Okay. But yes, we do find ourselves trying to live like the Joneses trying to do this that and the third and we still fall short and it seems like by uh candy entertaining trying to even think about and going through with it signing leasing papers for her daughter to drive around and a, a automobile that costs forty eight thousand to seventy thousand child please you should have been putting some land down so she can build a house on one day. But like I said, Kenneth has always struck me as trying to be more than what 
her pocketbook says and she feels she's going to have all this asset that's going to be uh, left for a true legacy uh, when it comes to leaving her children things. So I'm like, Candy, 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 Candy girl, you better teach your child how to fend for herself and that they do have some money, but don't let them know how much you leaving them in case they try to knock you off one day. You know what I'm saying? Psh. The world is getting evil, evil uh, as we go along. And people's intentions may not be the intentions that you thought they would have of you. I'm just saying I'm keeping it very real, okay? We don't need to uh, set up our children to live off us. We need to say, get it while you got it so it's good. But if you ever fall short, I'll leave you just a little bit, a little something to tie you over, okay? That's how she should be looking at it, but... It seems like a lot, and I can't speak for other races, but, you know, when black people get ahead or they think they're ahead, they always like, I'm going to leave something for my children. I want to do that. I want to. Okay. All right. That's good to a certain degree. But what are you, who are you, and what are you raising out there? Because they're going to show some things that you're not going to like about them, and you're going to be questioning what you had promised you was going to leave for them. Because sometimes they might want their money now. Okay, and you still living, trying to provide for their behinds, but or they try to go get more than what they think they need to have, and then you end up helping them. So it it, it just is. It's a, it's a strange thing when you're trying to say you're trying to leave some serious money for your kids. Okay, and they don't necessarily uh live up to the expectations you had for them for them to enjoy that money you had to sell your soul for or you had to do some strange things for some change or you worked very hard you know in these uh low paying jobs to be able to keep them in a lack of luxury or you feel that it's luxury you have brought them up in but that's just my sidebar going back to the article um it says if you want to help people preach that don't try to impress people with things you need to figure out how to pay for want to impress me show me the deed to your house and the titles to your cars and i will show you mine oh my god this uh comment are going tit for tat and see that's what i'm talking about if you're trying to own something Get something you can own, but don't be sitting up there having a, a, a Bentley truck that your husband called himself buying. Well, we know good and goddamn well, if you were not buying that Porsche for Riley, he ain't bought that Bentley for you, okay? It's all for show, tricks, and mirrors, and smoke and mirrors, okay? So don't always try to live like these celebrities, because these celebrities are not trying to tell you how they really get down, okay? It's all for show. But anyway, going back to the article, another other commenter stated Candace sitting there talking about she pays the mortgage and all this bullshit when she got all that damn money that makes no damn sense let's see that's what I'm saying y'all try to listen to these celebrities when they say they worth this that and the third and they co-signing saying they got this that and the third and ain't got a pot to piss in on a window to swing it out of I'm just saying that's just my sidebar going back to the article it says this defender share she said a lease for her daughter's car which makes sense i do believe she is not the only millionaire that pays on something which also keeps a line of excellent credit open for future investments this is the problem with black people and they are always throwing crap at each other good for you that you are debt free now you should show others how to be debt free instead of trying to tear people down about this shit well that's another side you can look at it. But my whole thing, live for yourself. Don't live for what other people got. And you trying to be on that same level or trying to outdo them. Because shows can last for a long time. Then they can close up shop the next day. And then what are you going to do, Candy? And I already said, when you sat up there and said you bought your, when you <coughs> had old lady gang, you had bought a business, did that and third. And I was looking where them businesses were. I said, hey, I can't at least in that shit. And sure enough, she came out when she opened up the second OLG. She put it in the parking lot of a strip mall. And I know she ain't bought that strip mall. That's what she should be buying if she want to make a good investment. Go buy a strip mall and lease out those different compartments of that mall. And then you could be bringing in some Dore Me money. Other than that, Candy, you got a long way to go, baby. A long way to go. And the people that you're sitting up there 
following, trying to tell you to do business. Shit. But anyway, that's just my pun intended going back. Uh, a fourth commenter read, it's called leveraging when using other people's money. Do you think she doesn't know anything about owning real estate outright? She sound You sound real silly. Most rich people use other people's money to build more assets. Read rich dad, poor dad. The follower explained, please make sure you are careful when doing this with the mortgage. Right. They will not charge you late fees or penalties. However, if you are making payments, you are also not paying into escrow. So when your annual escrow analysis is complete, you will have a deficit and your payment will increase. I have been an executive in the mortgage industry for 20 years. And this is one of the things that have been brought up in our project projections and they damn sure right about that you go around and sit there and mess around your insurance go up or your property taxes go up and it ain't sizing up with that escrow shit you either gonna be paying a higher rent or you need to straighten out that escrow balance say you were short by two or three hundred dollars you either gonna make that two hundred dollars along with your mortgage payment or you gonna be paying a different payment uh, when that time period has expired, say you paying eight hundred, you might be paying nine hundred or a thousand just to make up that escrow. So yeah, candid on what the hell she talking about. Y'all keep listening to it if you want to. You better get in school or do your own research about mortgaging and refinancing and taking advantage of these little uh get quick ways to save your money when you're going through hard times. Uh uh-uh. uh, you better pay that mortgage. <laughs> <clears throat> and you better pay that car note. Then it's different if you lost, if you have lost your job or something to that degree. Then you don't have a choice, or so you have to let shit go bad. And yes, they don't know about letting shit go bad. Yes, I do. I voluntarily gave some shit back when it was concerning some cause that I had overfinanced myself for. So yes, and I got my credit back straight now because it was, you know, it was still like a little ding on it, but it didn't hurt as bad as, you know, they repossessing it, mean they come taking it from you. It's a different thing when you say, hey, come pick up your shit because I ain't got no job. I can't afford it. This, that, and the third. And blessings was, it, it, it didn't even show my credit report anymore after a few years. Okay, I don't know how that happened, but I'm like, thank you, Lord. <laughs> but it is what it is, okay? But um, let me see. And that's pretty much it. This is Candace forever getting in trouble uh, for that white SUV. All right, but that was it. So what do y'all think? Did Candy give y'all some solid advice? Like I said, y'all can go and listen to it on her uh instagram account candy uh whatnot and like i said todd is over talking her in the back and she can't get her words out because he keep interjecting or inter interrupting her when she's trying to make a point or whatnot but i'm like it just is what it is y'all gotta live your own life y'all can't be in- too invested in what these uh celebrities get out here and then you want to go and emulate them and try to do the same thing when they're really not a, not really telling you the truth some of these mansions that some of these celebrities outright and call themselves be don't bought they ain't bought nothing they leasing it okay and if something happens you'll find out about it because it'll be all up in the press okay then you'll be looking at them sideways when you shouldn't have really been looking at them in the get-go okay watch your own pocketbook watch your own wallet and make your moves accordingly don't live by these celebrity standards because they don't have no standards okay they don't have any they worship their almighty dollar and what it can continue to do for them just like nini over there got how many tag shops and look what kind of recession we going into do you really think people are going to be out there buying clothes Oh, you're going to have to put some of them clothes on sale. On a sale. For sale rack. To keep your business somewhat afloat. Or are you definitely scrambling to try to stay on this show? Was that a storyline by you hiring uh, that woman to come and help settle some issues you were having with the show? Was that a storyline too? When you hired that attorney, Nene? Okay, did that buy you a season 13 for upcoming seasons of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because I still ain't heard nothing from that. So I think, yeah, you just did that. 
He just started that fake fool of a fuckery, fraudulent type of shitty activity just to have a storyline. So, like I said, mm -mm, don't worship, don't praise these uh, reality stars thinking they doing this. You know, what she trying to make block uh, feel bad because she's sitting up here flossing and showcasing Riley got this, that, and the third. Cha, please. Her and Todd, there. <laughs> they are definitely some characters that's all i got to say but fam now it's time for you to interact with me or what your thoughts are on this subject matter that i brought to your attention what say you fam about this particular uh video on candy and todd trying to give some financial advice okay i'm like really is mama joy's house is that leads to uh is her car also leads to candy? Girl, you the leasing queen around right here, huh? You don't own nothing. And you supposed to have bought that house, that, that mansion you stand in. You were supposed to have bought that too. From my understanding, now you coming up and say you pay a mortgage. I'm kind of confused. Because you said you got that was a deal. That was like a foreclosure you had bought. So, you mean you didn't have the money from that previous house? Girl. Live your life, Candy. Live your life, baby girl. But don't get no advice. Don't get no advice like you gave out on your uh, Speak On It channel. Talking about save some money. Put the, the loans back on the back end of your loan. Hell no. Nah, don't you do that. You still got a job. Don't do it. Now, it's questionable when you don't have a job and you're trying to make ends meet. Talk to your institutions with your cars or with your um, mortgage company and see what's best for you what options they have out there that fits your that's tailored to your situation that you're going through now you see what i'm saying but well, y'all better pay y'all bills i could say as long as i keep a job i'm sure I'm gonna pay mine I, you know i thought about it like, oh, i ain't no financial turmoil right now now if i was losing a job i lost a job then it has to come what it what it had to do you know what i'm saying but mm -mm, just to save some money, no, no sir, no Lord, no God, mm -mm, we we can't handle, we can't play like that. We cannot play like that. But that's all I have for this particular video, guys. Enjoy it. Get in those comments, interact with one another, and I will see y'all next video. But continue to subscribe, like, and share the videos. Okay. Thank you, guys. Love you to the core. Good night.